How's it going? Today we're gonna make some candied sturgeon. Well, I done already made it, but it's sitting in the smoker, about ready to come out. Let's go take a peek, see and see what she looks like. All right. Look at that, huh? You don't see candied sturgeon every day, do you? Leave it in there much longer, it'll be candy jerky. So it's been in there for about five hours, five and a half hours on 160, 180, something like that. You know, you, you go to what you want. I mean, I could have pulled that stuff off there an hour ago. It was done, but I wanted a little firmer. I wanted a little bit more texture. So I let it cook a little bit longer, you know, cook it how you like it. You know, you're not fit, sure pull a piece off and have it. It's going to stiffen up a little more in the fridge. So, you know, don't don't go and make it all rock hard because then you will be jerky. But, so you basically you just take your sturgeon, cut it into small pieces, throw it in your marinade, which the description of the marinade will be down below because there's way too much stuff in it for me to tell you. But it's basically like Yoshida's soy sauce, brown sugar, salt, pepper, garlic, you know, just everything in your cupboard. Grab it, throw it in there. Make yourself a sweet Asian sauce. Then you're gonna throw it in your fridge for like a week, seven days. Now they say, it don't marinate fish over three days. You can get botulism or salmonella or I don't know, one of those things. But you know what? My buddy that was making this long before I was making it, he put it in there for seven days all the time and ain't nobody got sick. So sounds fine to me and then i do something he don't do oh you see this stuff right here pink carousel salt number one. Oh, all right see now this stuff it ain't regular salt it has salt in it but main ingredient here is sodium nitrate this stuff right here this kills all the bacteria everything off so you can't get none of that stuff so don't think this is regular pink salt don't be sitting there eat, eat putting this stuff on your burger you'll get sick probably it only takes a little bit you know big old batch like that we're talking a teaspoon or less into that whole thing sit there marinate you know you don't know what's in there but it comes in all your food you buy from the grocery store no, it's just one of those things I do when I do that. I add a little bit to my bacon too when I make it. Besides that, you know you're good to go. So, throw all your stuff, seasoning, everything in your pot. Throw your fish in it. Kick it in the fridge there. And then you just wait yourself a week. Like I said, come out here, throw it on the grill. Turn it on. Now my buddy, he cooks his, well his piece is normally twice that size. It's, I normally cut them twice that size too. My wife likes little tiny skinny pieces where it's cooked more through. She don't like fish much. So she cut all this up. So that's why it's super skinny and everything. But he cooks his a little bit hotter. His smoker cooks hotter. So he's probably up like 220 or something. So his is only on for like three hours or so, something like that. Where I'm running five hours. But mine's down 160, 180. Uh, so you're able to do that. You know, just a couple degrees difference uh, make a few hours, people, you know, and you just got to feel your fish to see what it is. You know, we'll give you one last look at this fish here. <clears throat> oh, you can look at the thickness. So, you can see how thin those pieces are. Man! And they didn't shrink either. That's how small she cut them. They are falling through the rack, everything. I never cut my fish that small, but... It'll be good. It'll be delicious. I'm sure of it. Uh, marinade definitely got through it. You know, eighth inch thick. It's going to get through it. So, all right. Y'all enjoy smoking your sturgeon. You have a good day.